Hi everyone, uh, this is the first video in the series of videos explaining how to use Primavera P6 for project planning and control. This is an introductory video uh, and in this one I'm explaining how to create a project and uh, work breakdown structure for your case. As you can see this is uh, uh, my uh, Primavera and uh, the first step is to uh, define the industry that you are operating in because uh, if you don't uh, do so every time you open Primavera an error will appear so we can go to admin and admin preferences there are a couple of options in here and uh, we can go to industry tab which is the last one and select uh, one of the four available options in here and uh, then press close and you okay this message okay uh, the first step is uh, to uh, create a new project and um, if I uh, click on this uh, button here for creating a new project as you can see a dialog box opens and uh, we can select a project name for uh, ours and uh, let's name it prefab uh, sorry an ID which is 2016 and a name which can be uh, prefab next step uh, plan uh, start date which is today that's fine and uh, manager and rate type so we have successfully created this new project and as you can see this is the first name showing in here it is important uh, to right click on this and select open project so that uh, we can uh, operate uh, within this environment for our project we can also copy an existing project so if I want to do so uh, right click on uh, the project that you want to copy select copy from the dialog box and then right click again and paste as you can see it uh, asks us to customize uh, the options we have and when you press ok uh, a new project with uh, this suffix is created for you so uh, this is how to uh, copy a project you can also import a project from uh, you know other versions of Primavera or MS project but it is not generally recommended because sometimes uh, resources are excluded in the process of, process of importing and also it can also it can only be done in the planning stage so we are uh, working on our project uh, some important information about this uh, project is illustrated in the bottom layout as you can see uh, bottom of my page here for example in the general tab as you can see uh, there are uh, project ID, project name and uh, other general information about the project that you are working on the second uh, tab is notebook you can add uh, some uh, useful comments about your project for example you know about um, a constraint that you are using and uh, here in the modify uh, option you can type uh, anything that you want and it is added as a note to your uh, project this is uh, a very important uh, especially for dispute resolutions and uh, down the track of your project if you uh, have any issues it is important to document them uh, properly uh, we have also default tab and uh, in here you can define an activity ID prefix let's change this to RMIT for example and also uh, the ID uh, suffix and increments which is 10 and that's fine 
the next tab is uh, the setting tab and as you can see we have a couple of uh, options in here on the uh, left hand side I recommend to increase uh, the WBS level to 3 and uh, if you summarize your project down to at least 3 levels um, I think it is a very good practice and um, it is a very um, common practice as well in uh, the industry other information we have in here uh, is okay we are happy with um, defaults also we have calculations tab for our project and uh, as you can see a number of options are in here on the right hand side uh, the subtract actual from uh, uh, at completion is selected if you don't uh, select this option every time you make a change uh, the schedule will be pushed out uh, to you know uh, actuals so it is better to select subtract actual from at completion the second important thing to change here is to remove uh, the checkbox for re recalculate actuals and select update units when cost change on uh, resource assignment this will ensure that your project costs reflect current rates and it will give you the most accurate cost estimates okay i think uh, these are the important uh, changes that uh, we want to make let's uh, start working on the wbs of the project and uh, the icon is on the left hand side if you press this the wbs tab opens for our project so WBS details can be seen on the bottom of page in the general tab we have uh, WBS code and the status we should change this to planned if we are working in the planning stage of our uh, project also we have uh, other useful information in uh, uh, the general tab uh, as you can see the WBS name and uh, the anticipated dates are shown in here we usually do not uh, use anticipate, anticipated dates so if I want to create the first uh, WBS item on the right hand side there is add button uh, it is a plus sign if I select this uh, different uh, WBS items are made as you can see uh, if I uh, select the first one the WBS code is one and I can change the name in general tab for example to uh, prefab uh, for the second one uh, the WBS code is again one in uh, the second level and i can change this name to uh, making uh, panels for our prefabrication project and uh, on the third one i can change the name for to concreting as you can see now we have uh, three layers in our wbs uh, with different names and uh, for all of them we should uh, ensure, be ensure that uh, the status is uh, planned we can also change the layer of uh, an item in the WBS by clicking on the arrows we can find on the right hand side menu for example for this activity WBS item of concreting I can change it to different uh, layers so it is useful uh, functionality that we have on uh, the right hand side another important uh, thing is the earn value uh, tab we have down the bottom uh, we want to uh, use custom percent complete for uh, WBS milestone uh, 
uh, calculations and uh, we want to change uh, this default value of 6 to 2 and uh, when you do this this will grant you 20% credit to our completion when an activity is started so uh, starting an activity means 20% uh, progress in um, your uh, project for that activity so this is uh, uh, what I wanted to cover for um, making a project and WBS items it is important to uh, know that there is no save button in uh, Primavera P6 so every time you want to force a save you can press F10 on uh, your keyboard and it uh, saves the latest changes you made and also if you want to refresh data you can uh, say uh, press F5 uh, a good practice is to export uh, your project at the end of your work in the file menu I can select export and it gives us a couple of options you can export for Microsoft project and create a file with MSP extension or it can be an XER which is for uh, Primavera if I select next it asks if you want to complete uh, export the whole project which is the case and next so it asks which project you want to export and mine is um, uh, 2016 I can select uh, my project and the extension then you press finish and uh, that's uh, the end you can also uh, s specify the location that you are uh, changing for example I can uh, save my project on desktop and uh, the file name can be uh, project uh, 2016 for example when you press save it will um, successfully uh, export your uh, project uh, thanks for watching this uh, video in the future videos I will um, uh, explain how you can work on your uh, activities please subscribe to my uh, YouTube video channel for updated uh, weekly videos about um, engineering and project management thank you